Rain I hope you're doing well. It's been a bit. I was wondering if you heard about the I by Power CSGO players being unbanned. What are your thoughts on picking them up for another Tempest Storm Counter Strike team? Hope you're having a good day. Staying cool in the heat. Thanks, dude. I did hear about it. Uh, I texted dazed about it this morning already. And no response feels bad, man. Easy small, easy to do it. Wait. Really? Never mind. This killed me again. I should have think about it, because Serora would have saved me from it. That just happened. <laughs> no way! Holy shit, easy. Like to play with will rise against you. Wow. Nice hydra so It's hard to imagine all of this dying. He needs <sighs> nine damage. If he had a last thing, he'll have it this turn. Pyroblast does it too. Landed perfectly. That was beautiful. Didn't even need editing. That was beautiful. <clears throat> All right. Please, no X. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a big pego. <laughs> Cut <laughs> memes. After we get cuts. <laughs> ah, Pego will live. What the frick, man? <laughs> Damn. Hashtag Frost Festival. <laughs> Can we get that in the chat, guys? <laughs> Hashtag Frost Festival.
I love Hearthstone. Hearthstone is awesome. I'm going to buy so many packs because packs are cool and money is worthless while Hearthstone cards are the best thing ever. Good enough. looks really dumb for him to double trade in the coda. If he just takes three damage, I'll win. Uh. Ship. Drink with me, friend. It's the perfect trade for him! Which is a uh, different frosty. Good mind control for the serious despair here, and there's actually tactical value to doing it. What is it? Other than causing him PTSD. Yeah, all right. Show dominance. It's interesting. Like the spare parts, I, I feel like there's not really that many like great spare part options. Spells. How does everyone have mass to spell against me today? <laughs> so he doesn't have a taunt. What does it here for us? Uh, oh, kill command. Easy. <laughs> what, the, what the hell am I worried about? Thanks, dude. I was about to get worried for a second, and I was like, wait, I'm Murps! What the hell am I worried about? Oh my god, this game is too easy for people like me, you know? Jeez. We survived double ice barrier, okay? 16, we, we hit him for 46 to the face. <clears throat> Am I gonna get Yashiraj? Oh, I got Yashiraj. Am I gonna get Yashiraj again? Holy shit, that must be really lucky, right? That's crazy.
I mean, what do you want me to do? Be like... <laughs> Thank you very, very much for the resub. Welcome to the Jackoffs. <laughs> <laughs> like that? <laughs> I can't do that, man. I can't do that. <laughs> Zaral SI. I think so, yeah. Oh my god, that's a really good one. Eater of Secrets has not always been a popular choice to have in your deck, but George C, at least in this meta, kind of broke open the dam to, to the greater community. It was like, no, Eater of Secrets is good. You can run it. Mm -hmm. There's so much mage running around. I would not be surprised if New Zealand is running it, but there is certainly still a, a very pervasive school of thought that thinks, you know what? Don't run Eater of Secrets. Just be better than your opponent. Yeah, and it's such a hard card to play around because as soon as it's played, you effectively lose. So you can never like make the read or hope they don't have it. You kind of have to play the oh game assuming they don't goodness, have it. Oh my goodness, that is going to be game. Well, there's still the Ice Barrier. Oh no, there's no, yeah, the Ice Barrier goes away with the Inner Secrets. That is game, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh no, all of their hopes gone because of the Eater of Secrets. That is insane. The tech choice from the United States coming out and giving them the win. Wow. Yeah, you see a Slayer Max just go, wow. Yeah. Tech, tech choices matter. Uh, I'm not very conscious right now. Don't mind me doing some... Uh. Oh, we got there. Yeah, that was sick. That was sick. Someone clipped that and posted on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs>